Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rattle Essence and I want to welcome you back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I sincerely hope that you're staying safe and well. What I would like to do today is give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look and also my insight and my thoughts on a fragrance from the brand of which I am the creative director and this fragrance is called Navus and the brand is Navitus Parfum. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin the video, I do want to mention that if you are interested in making a purchase at NaviTusParfum.com, indefinitely, we are running a promotion where if you live outside of the United States, we are actually doing free international shipping if you order two items or more. So I know initially there was a huge demand for people who wanted to get their nose on the fragrances, but of course, to ship to all these different countries, there is a fee involved. So we've slashed that off. And also we know that in the case of this particular fragrance, this is an Oswald exclusive. And so a lot of the foot traffic to Oswald has been mitigated as of late. And so in order for people to have the opportunity to sample it and smell it, uh, we really wanted to provide an offer that a lot of people in other parts of the world could take advantage of. So as I'm sure you know, in the past, I have done videos on some of my own fragrances. These are fragrances from the brand of which I am a creative director. And of course, I can't help but speak positively about them because these are fragrances that I shortlisted after smelling hundreds and hundreds of samples sent to me from a variety of different laboratories. And this is one of the fragrances that I smelled initially. And I thought to myself, this is the cream of the crop. This is such an incredible, bright, fresh, invigorating, citrus heavy fragrance. And I'm just so happy that it's being received well. And so many people who have purchased it have reverted back to me and said, my goodness, Stephen, I love wearing this one. I wear this one in the springtime and hopefully you get just as much use from it in the summertime. And also my closest friends who have purchased it like Gary, I wanna thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Also Christian from One Accord Fragrance Review. So thank you so much for supporting me and this endeavor that I have joined. So. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you my thoughts on Navus, and as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, Navus is a name that means energy. And I say you know this because if you've watched some of my previous videos, I was talking a little bit about the concept of the fragrance. And so a lot of the fragrances in the Navitus Parfum line, if not all of them, are actually inspired by different things that are being represented by the infinity symbol. So you know that the infinity symbol represents strength, it represents, believe it or not, virility, it represents eternal return, this concept of reincarnation, and of course that is applied in the fragrance Primas, which I've also done a video on. I'm going to leave a link to that down below. And then of course this one particular fragrance means energy. So you want to wear it in an energetic situation, right? So if you just want to go out there, you want to conquer your day, you want to accomplish your goals, you just want to feel like the best version of yourself. And this is a very sort of verdant, bright, citrusy, fresh, appealing fragrance in my humble opinion. And it was certainly one of the ones that I enjoyed the most. I fell in love with this fragrance when I received it from the perfumer Christian Carbonell uh, initially. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to include it as part of the initial seven fragrances. And so I absolutely love this one. I do think it's a perfect fragrance for the summertime. As always, I would recommend that you go out there and you put your own nose on it. And this one, of course, is an Oswald exclusive. So I do want to give a very special thank you and a special shout out to Tanya and Josie and Olya and all of the beautiful and wonderful people who are working at Oswald NYC. I'm going to leave links for that down below as well. This is the type of fragrance where if you are looking for that one Swiss army knife scent and you want something that can be worn in a dressed up scenario, dressed down scenario, it has this sort of informality about it, but it could be dressed up and it has this formal appeal about it as well. I do think that Navus is the optimum scent to go with. I think if you're looking for something a little bit more in that fougere uh, sort of a chipre genre with the lavender, I would certainly recommend Lautus, uh, but I'm going to be talking about this one today. Let's go ahead and start things off by taking a quick look at the presentation. Now when you do receive this fragrance, you will notice that it has this infinity symbol motif on the sleeve. It has the name of the company towards the top, the name of the fragrance right there in the middle, and then you also have Oswald written towards the bottom, and this is an Oswald exclusive fragrance fragrance. When you take the sleeve off, you will see that it reveals a box with very sturdy construction, it just has the gold foil lettering here on the front. 
You open up the flap on the side and it also reveals a silk bedding in which the bottle rests. The inside of the box also comes with this card that has a Latin phrase that's associated with the fragrance. Of course, in the case of this one, it's Carpe Diem, which translates to seize the day. And then on the back of the card, you will notice that it has all of the notes listed as well as a few descriptive adjectives and then a credit or homage to the perfumer, which in this case is Christian Carbonell. Now the bottle for this one, you can see it has this very rich deep blue color towards the top. It has a sort of light aqua green color towards the middle here, so it is two-tone. And then towards the very bottom, it becomes clear. And then you'll see that it has the Zama cap at the top. And the back of the bottle also lists the fact that this is an Oswald Now the distribution exclusive. on the atomizer is very wide and it is a pressurized atomizer so you can control how much you want to spray. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, the first thing that you're going to spot is just that huge sense of refreshment in the opening and there is so much citrus going on in this fragrance. You have the bergamot, you have the orange, you have that touch of grapefruit in there as well that makes it a unique citrus fragrance. Oftentimes you think of lemon, you think of a particular fragrance, you think of bergamot, you think of a particular fragrance, but it's really in my opinion the grapefruit that shines in this fragrance. So it opens up very bright, very energetic, very fulfilling, and there also is a combination of both natural and synthetic ingredients that are used in this. And then once it starts to make its segue into the heart of the composition, that's when you're going to get this sort of lingering juniper berry from the opening, which also kind of gives the fragrance a sort of effervescent gin and tonic feel. So if you're into those boozy fragrances and you want those bright, refreshing, boozy fragrances, almost on the minty side, definitely check this one out for that. It almost kind of gives me a mojito vibe, if I can use that reference. In the heart, you do have some floral nuance Responses, but no aspect of this fragrance is overly floral in the sense that it comes across smelling feminine or anything like that. You have ylang-ylang and you have rose. Now, I certainly get more rose than ylang-ylang. Ylang-ylang is one of those ingredients that just comes across smelling very tropical, very exotic, very summery to my nose. And I don't get a whole lot of that from this particular fragrance. The rose, on the other hand, it just comes off in a very clean variety, just something to provide a nice, subtle, yet well-needed contrast to all of the other bright and refreshing notes. The base of this fragrance, you're gonna get a little bit of a woodsy appeal, but the cedarwood that's in here is in no way stronger than the vetiver. The vetiver really overtakes the composition in the sense that it's very clean in nature and it sustains that freshness well into the base. And I'm talking about six, seven, eight hours after application. So you have a fragrance that starts off very bright, very juicy, very fresh on account of that melange of citrus that's in the opening, but particularly the grapefruit. And then once it starts to dry down, that gin and tonic feel sort of fizzles out. And you also have this really clean, smooth, ultra versatile vetiver note. And the vetivers that I've encountered in my scent journey are, uh, some of them can be very sort of dry and earthy and rugged. And then of course you have like the Mugler colognes and the original vetivers which come across smelling very, very clean. This one leans on the clean side, but it implements and utilizes a vetiver that doesn't smell like any vetiver that I have smelled in my journey. And it's also not overly grassy to the effect that it utilizes ingredients like cis-3 hexanol, and it's not earthy in the sense that it uses ingredients like geosmin. It's just a very nice, very well put together uh, fragrance for the summertime and the springtime as well. And I do have to say, I am so proud of Christian Carbonell, who is the perfume of this fragrance uh, for creating this and he really out, has outdone himself and I have always been a huge fan of his work. Obviously he has made fragrances for Zerzhov and Zoologist and just tons of other brands and I'm gonna leave all that information down below if you're interested in reading up on his Fragrantica page but this one is one of his best and um, of course this is all coming from a very personal standpoint and a personal perspective and I think we're all mature enough to know that fragrance is very personal it's very subjective let's finish things off with my overall assessment now in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell one of the things that I was really pleasantly surprised by is how unique this fragrance is for a situation citrus heavy fragrance. Something that I've alluded to earlier on in this review is sometimes when I smell something that's very lemon heavy, uh, 
or orange heavy. I'm usually reminded of other fragrances. So orange, Bigarat Concentré, Eau d'Adrienne by Nicoutal for Lemon, and even Bergamot, you have like the Zerzhov Neos of the world. But in the case of this fragrance, you have that grapefruit that's up on top. And grapefruit is one of these ingredients that I don't really find myself encountering all that often in perfumes, whether it be designer or niche. And I just don't, I think it's being done spectacularly well in this fragrance. In terms of the longevity, expect to get about eight hours on your skin. When it gets a little bit hotter outside, if it's really, really warm where you live, you might get upwards of seven hours and not eight. Uh, projection on this one radiates off my skin very, very well for the first two to two and a half hours. Keep in mind that it's going to radiate within an elbow's length for between that third hour of application and that seventh or eighth hour of application. In terms of the versatility, like I mentioned earlier, you can wear this one dressed up because it does come across smelling very natural and very organic. It doesn't smell synthetic or chemically or anything like that. And of course, one of the reasons why is because it does feature a nice balance of both design, um, uh, natural ingredients, but also synthetic ingredients as well. I do find this one to be totally unisex. Uh, there's just something about citrus that I think works very well with both sexes. And I think anybody can wear this. It's bright and mass appealing enough that it can be worn by somebody who's very young. And it just has that same sort of lingering vibe that it could be pulled off by somebody who's a little bit more, you know, older, a little bit more sophisticated and set in his or her way. And of course, the presentation on this one, I really enjoy this presentation presentation, which I've had selected since the summer of 2019. And so a lot of thought, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of sourcing went into all of the materials involved. And my final verdict on my fragrance is I personally, and now remember, you have to take this with a grain of salt because this is a product that I have directly worked on. I am the creative director for Navi Tubes Parfum. I love this fragrance. It is one of my favorite fragrances to wear in the summertime. And I've actually not worn this for about a week and a half because I was testing other fragrances and I was also wearing a lot of Lautus and a lot of Viva More from the brand. And so I decided to pull this fragrance back out after a long time of not wearing it. And I said, why did I neglect this for the past week and a half? Because I do utterly and completely find this to be an incredible fragrance. And obviously, Trust your own nose, go out there, smell it for yourself, please. At no point should you ever commit to a blind buy on behalf of what any other YouTuber says. And I trust that if you do have the opportunity to smell this one, that you will really enjoy it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. I sincerely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. That was my take, sort of behind the scenes look and how I perceive uh, the fragrance Navus by Navitus Parfum, the brand of which I am the creative director. If you like this type of content and you're not subscribed to this channel, I would really appreciate it if you could so show your support by subscribing to this channel. All you gotta do is click that red button in the corner. And this way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it'll get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. Stay safe and well, and we'll see you next time. Bye.